What is up, y'all? It's Andy Story, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. And today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create an outline on your logo or your typography or whatever it is you are creating. And then also I'm going to show you how to easily kern the letters, meaning making the letters go closer to one another so that you have a way more stylized logo and or title treatment. Today's inspiration is going to be from Poltergeist, an old horror classic from the 1980s. It has a very, very memorable logo that you're not gonna forget. And this is the perfect logo for us to learn how to properly add an outline in Photoshop to your logo. All right, you guys, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create your artboard and or template or whatever you wanna call it today or most of the time when I use or create logo designs for movie posters, I work in a 16 inch wide by nine inch tall template at 200 PPI. So go ahead and do that now so that you can follow along nicely. The other thing is that we're going to add a texture at the end and I picked up this cool TV screen texture from Envato.com, which happens to have some amazing stock photography, graphics, music, video, a bunch of stuff that's useful in the creative world that comes with a license. So if you're working professionally, it might be a good resource for you. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your background is a gray. Just It's just a lot easier to work with. So I just used an adjustment layer down here to come up with the gray. So I went to solid color and then just gonna hit gray and boom, we have a gray background. Now the next thing we're gonna do is just add a new layer. So I'm gonna hit the plus icon and now we can type out our logo. And since we're recreating the Poltergeist logo, I'm just gonna hit T and then I'm gonna type out Poltergeist. And like that, we have it. And then I'm gonna make this bigger by using the transform tool and the hotkey is Command T. And then I'm gonna hold down Shift so that it keeps everything the same size or proportionally the same size. And then like that, I'm gonna hit return once I have the size I want. And then you can hit V and move it where you want but I want to go ahead and center this right now by hitting Command A on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna go up here, actually hit V to make sure you're on the move tool. And then I'm gonna go up here and just hit the centering icon and that's gonna center it from left to right. And then I'm gonna hit the top to bottom center align vertical and like that, we have it. And then I'm gonna hit Command D and get rid of the marching ants. Now the fun part begins. We're gonna go to that text layer and double click it. And that's gonna bring us to layer styles. And from layer style, we're gonna hit stroke. And that's going to create our outline. But we need to make sure that we have the correct size. And now I've done this before and I know that the, the pixel size for this particular outline is gonna be six. But just so you can see what we're working with, you can, or to see how it works, you can increase the pixel size to whatever you want but I'm gonna bring that back down to six, keep it there. And then on the position, I'm gonna make sure our position is on the outside, our blend mode is at normal, and our opacity is at 100%. Now on color, because we're mimicking that same logo from the movie poster, we're gonna change the color from black to white. And there we go, we have our outline. But the problem is, is, that, you can, is that the black fill is still there. So we need to get rid of that and it's really easy. So now that we're still on the same layer, we're just gonna go up to fill and drop that slider down to zero. And now we have a perfect outline ready to be kerned. I always get carried away when I'm making a tutorial and forget to ask that if you've learned anything up until this point, then by all means hit that like button so that we can help appease the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. And like I was saying before, we need to get these letters spaced properly so that they're similar to the poster. And the easy way is just by clicking in between or actually making sure that you, you've hit T on your keyboard and then clicking in between each letter. And then once you're on the letter that you wanna work with, we're gonna hit option and then the arrow key to the direction you wanna move that particular letter. And we're just gonna keep doing this in between each one. All right, so now we have our Poltergeist logo, just like the movie poster. 
but we're just going to center it one more time, hitting Command A, creating the marching ants. Then I'm going to hit V on the keyboard, go to my centering icon, centering it there, and it should be still centered from top to bottom. Then I'm going to hit Command D, get rid of the selection. And now all I want to do is add a little bit of texture in the background. But before I do so, I'm just going to go down to that background layer, double click on that and then change our background to black. And now that we have this black, we're gonna go up to our TV texture. We're gonna add that in, but this totally makes it so we can't see our logo. So the easy way to fix that is to put a mask on that. So I'm going to the mask icon, the square with the circle. I'm gonna hit that and now we have a mask. Now we're easily just gonna mask out the center so that we can see or reveal the logo by hitting B on the keyboard, painting with black, I'm just gonna paint that out. And there we have our awesome logo ready to go. Now, I hope you guys learned something. If you did, go ahead and just hit that like button so you can help out the algorithm. And then look at the other tutorials we have on this channel because chances are something is in there that's gonna help you on your poster design or your art and design journey.